Hey there, Star Trek fans. This is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Diamond Select Toys, Star Trek The Wrath of Khan, Irradiated Spock, and Admiral Kirk Death of Spock action figure set, which is, of course, a mouthful. Um, basically, these two figures were released in a two-pack uh, several years back uh, to commemorate the, uh, the famous scene where Spock gives his life for the Enterprise. Um, spoilers, you know. You should have seen it by now. It's been like 20 freaking years. 25 back then. Good lord, it says 25th anniversary. You can see that. Um, some nice uh, art up here, which is uh, actually shots of the uh, actors. Um, you can see some of the uh, accessories in, in the box. I always like it when you can see the accessories and stuff. I don't like it when they're hidden. I, I like to see what I'm buying. Um, on the back, instead of uh, pictures of the action figures, it's got actual pictures of the actors. Like, so it says Series 1, and then there's, like, a picture of Shatner and that dude, and Shatner again, and Ricardo Montalban, and DeForest Kelly, and, uh, uh, oh my gosh, why am I spacing on your name? I forget his name. And Chekhov Guy, and Scotty, and Leonard Nimoy, and Kirstie Alley, and, uh, uh, gosh, space on everybody's names. Jesus. Uh, but, yeah, there's a little, uh, bio up here. Uh, it just talks a little bit about the actual scene in question, which is pretty neat. Um, and talks a little bit about what happens in um, uh, the search for Spock. Just just a scotch, not a whole lot. I guess they don't want to have any spoilers there, too. But, yeah, this uh, figure set was on Corner Store Comics when I bought those BSG figures. Uh, and it was only $14 for the set, so I thought that would is a great deal. I love the costumes from this era, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick them up. So let's get them open and see what they're like. And here are Kirk and Spock out of packaging. And uh, I've got them just sort of set up here doing their uh, their little through the glass sadness goodbye pose. Uh, uh, this is definitely one of my favorite scenes in sci-fi history. It was it was such an um, important scene for the series, but also just a great... Um, a great example of how um, science fiction, when driven by the fiction more than the science, can have a really great impact on uh, the drama of characters. So, um, these uh, these figures are very very similar in terms of uh, articulation, and uh, they have different sculpts, uh, but most of their um, design is the same. So, as far as articulation goes, I'll go over one and not the other, just so you can get a quick look. Um, but as far as detail, let's go ahead and pull in a little bit here on the shat. And I'm moving my camera. Um, as you can see, there's a, a pretty pretty decent likeness to him. He's probably not as chubby as he should have been uh, in the movie. Um, uh, the figure's not. I mean, obviously he was pretty chubby in the movie. Uh, <laughs> and the, uh, the hair is maybe a little too um, slicked. Because he had kind of a foppish... Uh, Fobbish is probably not the best word. Um, his hair looked like a cloud. It's just a big brown cloud of hair is what it looked like to me. Um, they've got the nice uh, little uh, sideburns that it, uh, he liked to rock back in the day. Um, you know, a pretty good look. Maybe a, a little Asiatic through the eyes. Um, but uh, for the most part, um, very nice. Uh, the outfit looks great, the uniform. Uh, we've got his uh, Starfleet badge here. The uh, open look that he had towards the uh, end of the movie when he was kind of losing his junk. Um, got all the uh, insignia stuff over here on the arm. Nice ribbing on the sleeves there. Very nice folds all throughout. Great Starfleet buckle. Um, very, very nice stuff. You know, the, the piping here on the back. The, the cool clip thing that holds his lapel closed. All very, very well done. Very nice uh, folds. Very, very nice. And then, the, you know, they did the uh, the lacquer look on the boots so that they look very shiny and very, very cool. Um, and no peg holes on the feet. Um, so, very cool looking uh, Kirk there. Uh, there we go. Give him a stand. And uh, Spock here, uh, from what I can tell, is probably just a uh, repaint of the regular Spock figure. Um, in that the... Uh, designs on his face, all of the, uh, like the, uh, radiation deterioration, um, they're all painted on. He looks a lot like the Toby figure from the Doctor Who, um, from the pit, uh, the pit of something episode, I can't remember, uh, the one where they talk about the devil, basically. But, um, it's all painted on, and, uh, his, his right hand is a bit soft. Man, this is not one to focus, come on. 
His right hand is a bit soft, uh, not a whole lot of details there, so to me, I think they could have done a lot better on that, you know, make his knuckles a little more pronounced, the, the lines in his hand a little bit. Uh, it, it's not super well done as far as I'm concerned. Um, again, same kind of details, nice cloth. Uh, folds and everything, you know, the pinstriping down the pants, the lacquer boots, everything looks really, really nice. And a good likeness to Nimoy, too. Um, you know, I, I think that's very nice for his uh, kind of older look. It's probably not as aged as he was during the movie, um, but it's pretty good. You know, he should probably have a few more lines, but that could just be a matter of how much paint is on the sculpt. So cool, though. Um, the only accessories for this set are the uh, additional hands. Which are pretty cool though. They've got the uh, the kind of uh, radioactive mittens that uh, uh, Spock wore when he was trying to deal with everything inside uh, the radiation chamber. Um, you know, very nicely sculpted. Come on. Very very cool. Nicely painted. Very well done. Um, he comes with a, a spare right hand that looks like it's supposed to almost like a pistol. It's a grabby hand, but it, it, you know the fingers are separated, so it looks like it could grab a pistol very easily. And then Kirk comes with a spare left hand that's just kind of a relaxed hand, whereas his regular, or his other one that he's got, is a little more open, a little more splayed. Um, so yeah, these hands are really easy to swap out. They're on a very simple peg and hole system, so you just pull them out like that, take the other one, pop it right in, good to go. And they got great movement and everything there. Um, so those are the only real accessories you get with the set. And as I said, articulation is pretty much identical between the two. Let me pull out just a little bit so you can see this a little better. Um, we've got ball joint and necks, which are jointed at the uh, base of the neck. So it's inside the collar, so it's completely hidden. There's no uh, seam here around the uh, jawline. Looks very nice. And it's got a pretty good range of motion. He can tilt, you know, right, tilt left. Um, his down is very limited by the collar. Um, he will not be able to look down, but he can look up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, the only difference between he and Spock is really the neck articulation, wherein Spock's is a little more restricted. He definitely can't look down at all. Uh, his back is very restricted. Uh, right and left are pretty good, which is good for those like, uh, is that logical type of uh, pose, which probably wouldn't pertain to this exact uh, scene, but still nice to have. Uh, his right is a little bit blocked by his throat rubbing up against the collar. Uh, left is pretty good though. He can look very far to the left, which is very nice. Um, but on to the rest of the articulation. These are uh, double ball shoulders, so they go out only a little bit, but they do have some uh, rotation right there because there is a ball in there instead of the swivel hinge joint which goes straight out. This is just like the uh, Tyrrell figure I showed before if you guys haven't checked out the uh, Battlestar Tyrrell figure review. We've got uh, swivel biceps, um, hinged elbows, which go right at 90 degrees, swivel wrists, as you saw, you can swap those out very easily. There's a swivel waist underneath this, this is a like a rubberized skirt, um, there's a swivel waist underneath that, which has very nice rotation on it, um, and you, you won't be able to turn it super far because of the uh, skirt, but you shouldn't be able to turn it too far anyway because, you know, this is a human being and you only move so far. So we got T-hips. So they go out and uh, they are a little restricted by the waist, you will, or the uh, skirt, waistcoat, I don't know what, what you want to call it, but a little restricted by it, so he will not be able to sit easily in a captain's chair. You may have to work with it a little bit to try and get that uh, to work out for you if, if you have a captain's chair for him to sit in. Um, we've got swivels right here in the uh, thighs, right above the knee, and then the knee joint has nearly a 90 degree bend, almost there. Maybe if you worked with it a little bit, you'd get a little more. Um, no swivels in the boot tops, unfortunately. Um, but there are these very nice hinges in the feet, which go back that far and forward that far. So I have noticed, um, just standing my figure straight up, uh, he doesn't always like... He, he's, he seems to be a little wobbly. It's almost It almost seems as though they want me to kind of push his left foot forward just its tiny bit, just kind of like that. Um, so like they're just taking one step forward um, and then he, he seems much more stable to me but that may just be mine but it looks like that's kind of on both uh, figures where their left uh, foot is kind of turned in just just a slight slightest bit um, right at the ankle joint so like I said I paid fourteen dollars for this set which makes these figures seven dollars a piece and for seven dollars a piece this was an absolute steal 
Um, for $10 a piece, absolute steal. $12 a piece, good deal. Um, up from there, once you get up into the 25 and beyond range, then it'll be, you know, how much do you like these characters. But as far as just having really iconic pieces of uh, or action figures from film history, that might be a little too much. Um, these were a great price at $14, uh, great price at $25. Um, I, I think that they're excellent buys, uh, even if you're not a fan of Star Trek. They've got a very unique, cool look. Um, they'll fit in with your 7-inch scale figures. I guess I should bring in a couple 6-inches just so you guys can see what we got here. So these are 7-inch scale. I always have Captain America here. He's just always kind of hanging out. Just so you can get an idea of how big they are. Pull back just a little bit. So you can see they're right, they're right on scale with them. And uh, Kirk is, or I'm sorry, Spock is a little bit taller than Kirk. But surprisingly not by much. But I think that that's just because of the uh, the cloud of hair that <laughs> exists on Kirk's head. Um, whereas uh, Spock's got the, you know, very simple Beatles cut. Um, so, uh, yeah, their, their, eye, their eyes don't really match up. You know, um, his eyes only... His eyes only go to about uh, Spock's nose, so very cool set, very good price. Um, I don't think that they're still in stock at Corner Store Comics, but take a look around. I have seen some pop up on eBay for great prices. If you can get these between ten and twenty bucks, uh, you're in great shape. These are a great set. Really like them. Um, that's pretty much it for these guys. Uh, definitely pick them up if you get the opportunity. Um, Check out uh, my other videos if you get the chance. I just posted uh, Battlestar Galactica Tyrrell, who's from the same Diamond Select Toys company. So very similar in style to this, very similar in articulation. Um, we'll have a six coming up soon, and hopefully, Chris Cross here, uh, we'll have some more Star Trek reviews coming up. Because uh, I'm just starting to get into the uh, Next Generation series, and uh, like I said, I've always really liked the movies more than the show. Um, but... Um, yeah, keep an eye on the channel. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Let me know what you think below. And uh, check out InfiniteHollywood.com if you would like to see more reviews of all kinds of cool uh, uh, pop culture icons and other things. So appreciate it, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.